Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. We're going to cover how to do AI uh, writing for long form content with Ink. If you haven't already watched the first video about the editor that covers where to download it and how to use the keyword research and scoring, uh, watch that one first. Um, but in this video, we're going to specifically talk about some of the AI writing features. Okay, so I will I'll walk you through the first uh, option first which is uh, the button here um, on the bottom that says AI write. Okay, so the AI write button is a magical button because it knows where your cursor is and based on where your cursor is, it kind of predicts what you're trying to write for you. So you don't need to say write an introduction paragraph. Let's put your cursor here after the title and it will write an introduction paragraph. If you are here and you have H2, or H3, you have the heading uh, activated, you don't need to tell it, hey, please write me a headline. It will already know to write the headline. Similarly, if you, well, let's just do it. I'm going to click AI write, and it's going to recommend a headline. If you don't like it, you can do it again, or undo. And now let's click on enter. So our cursor now indicates that we are trying to write an intro to the subheading. So I can just click AI write and the magic button will write content here. Okay, so it interprets when it's doing this, it is interpreting the subheadline, it is interpreting the article title, it's interpreting what you have written so far, and if you have added a keyword, it is interpreting the topic and the relevance and what you should still be writing about. So it is very powerful. Um, when you are um, when you are using it in a bullet list, um, you can do something like one, two, three, four, and if you click the AI write button, it's going to read the list that you've written so far, and it understands it what you're writing about, and it's going to come up with the next one. See here, it wrote five. So if you are trying to generate ideas. You can just make a list and have AI generate the next item in your list. The AI will be smart enough to interpret the list in context of your article and come up with new ideas and suggestions for your list. Um, if you write um, a, a, here a cursor af after a list, it is going to interpret that list and try attempt to write that uh, the next content to to refer back to the list, or at least maintain true to the content of the list. Um, if you are trying to write a headline, it is going to also try and write a uh, headline. This is relevant to both your article and the key phrase. The way we do that is we read all the high ranking content. We understand what it is about. We understand what your article is about and drive this and many other insights to an AI that will try and write a good headline for you. So let's do that. The complete guide to content optimization. And so the, the title was content optimization strategies. Now, the next thing about this uh, AI write button that I want to talk to you about is the interaction with the different tasks. So for example, the complete guide to content optimization um, has a B plus emotional intelligence. It is relevant to the article and it is relevant to the article uh, and the keywords. So it's, it's doing all those things. It is using important relevance words. It is also in the right read readability grade. It is also the right word count. It is also the right character count. It is also using the topic in the headline. It is not by chance that the AI generated a an, an headline that completed so many tasks out of the box for you. This is because we do something called natural language optimization, which combines our insights with the AI writing. And that is unique in the industry. Um, so not only you didn't have to say write a headline, it knew that you wanted a headline. It read your competition, it read your article, it analyzed what you should include in your article, and then it wrote a more compelling headline. If, and again, you can keep generating headlines until you're happy. The AI does not always get it right, and it is not as smart as a human, but it's an amazing assistant. 
So another thing I want to point out here is emotional intelligence, in which case you can see here, people are looking to increase their uh, content strategy. They want to increase growth and they also are looking for uh, strategies in context of, um, of content optimization. They're also looking for trust. And in here, you could see that our emotional intelligence has covered words like guide, which would drive more engagement and more clicks to the headline. And our emotional analysis was conducted, the insights were gathered and used inside the content generation. So right here, this button, this AI write button, it covers, it, it has uh, more than 14 different AIs. This one button has more than 14 different AIs. And depending on what you are writing, it can uh, help you in different places of your content to just break through writer's block and come up with that next um, uh, piece of text that you may have been struggling to pen down. Um, there's one more thing I want to show you about this button, and that is that if you select a partial sentence and select this, you are going to see a different icon. And this, in fact, is select, and it will select the sentence for you. Now, at this point, you can rewrite it into casual, formal, or normal way. So you can change the style. You can also expand it, and you can simplify it. Now, one of the ways that I love using this is with word tasks. And word tasks has identified that this sentence is very hard to read. So what I can do now is I can select this, and I can ask it to simplify. And as it does this, it shortens the uh, it shortens the the text for me until it is short enough where the task will be no longer too hard to read for the audience. And you can see here, it is no longer very hard to read. It should still be a bit more simplified, and that is because uh, Inc has determined that the audience prefers content that is reading grade level eleven or below, and um, very hard to read meant that it was two reading grade levels above that. So it was actually over 13, which is way too hard. And for this key phrase, you would have lost clicks. You would have lost uh, time on page. So we're going to simplify it one more time. And now we have completely solved it with AI. AI analyzes your text and AI helps you solve, uh, solve the tasks in your text to make it better. Um, so we talked about the magic write button, which is an unbelievable perk of ink. Let's talk a little bit about how to use tools in ink. Now, you may be familiar that on app.inkforall.com, we have all these different types of tools. So if you navigate to app.inkforall.com, you can go to AI tools and you can see all these tools are organized by category. So let's say that I wanted to do a blog outline I can click on this and I could generate for my headline, I can generate a, an article outline just by clicking on this. And so the output could look something like a few subheadings and a takeaway. Um, these ideas can help you quickly have inspiration on how to approach your article. Now, uh, we made it so that the same tools are also available in a sidebar just in, inside the editor, just click on ink tools and all the tools from there, from the website will also be available here. So if you wanted to create a blog outline around the uh, content optimization, and let's just say that uh, you wanted to have about this concept, right? Create a um, content optimization plan in four stages. Okay. So we're going to create create and there you go we have uh, different article outlines if you wanted to put these in your article um, all you have to do is click on copy and it would in include that in your article now I was in a list so let me break out of the list for a second and you're going to notice a perk of ink here it automatically creates your subheadings and the takeaway all right so here you can see how ink is accelerating your content generation inside of the editor with the help of AI. I would also point out 
The tools are really, really wonderful. You can use these in many different ways. One of my favorite ways is in persuasive copywriting. If I wanted to, um, for example, talk about a feature in terms of benefits, I can talk about features and generate advantages and benefits or features to benefits. I can also use different um, conversion uh, language that persuade people like before, before you bought it, this was how it was. Afterwards, it looked like that. I can inspire, uh, get inspired with um, many different tools here. and encourage you to just play with them. That's the best way to get to know them. Um, also worth pointing out that every time you uh, write with AI or use a tool, it consumes one ink point. You can see your ink points here and ink points are based on the plan of ink that you have. All right, then if that was all, it would already be cool, right? Well, there's one other way to use uh, AI inside of ink. So you could use um, relevant sources, topics and sources to find topics you're missing. So we have not talked about optimization, about optimize or search engine, for example, in our article. If I click on this topic, I can, I can see examples of paragraphs competitors have used the word search engine in. And there are a lot of examples here. Just look at that. Okay. So let's imagine that I wanted to, um, that I wanted to have a headline about um, um, how to optimize for search engines. And I wanted to turn this into a head, subheading. Now what I can do is I can take one of these articles uh, about these um, competitive sources and with one click, I can copy this in my article. Now, by default, it is going to source, show the source in your article. So you're properly quoting against plagiarism. Okay. So this particular text came from MailChimp. Now there's an additional feature in Inc where you can click uh, the paraphrase and what it is going to do, it is going to take the sentence, this whole paragraph, and it's going to rewrite it with AI in a unique way. So you can click it and you can see here that this input sentence paragraph is very different than this here. And as you prefer, you can have the source quoted or not. Well, that was a portion on AI uh, and AI writing. Uh, while I have you here, I will just briefly show you a few other perks of ink. Um, and that is um, using uh, some of the other tools we have, uh, like images. So um, you can go to Image Finder and you can uh, look for something like uh, content. Um, let's just say blog article. And it will go to Unsplash and you can find an image that you like. And with and you can see here that images by Andrew via Unsplash. And with one click, it will add this image to your article. It will um, name the image file name according to the description of the file, as well as set the alt text and the image caption with proper author attribution. This is a time saver as you can create articles with relevant images with just one click. Uh, I would also point out that Inc. is actually going even beyond that. Um, you can also here in settings control the compression and downscaling. This makes sure that the images that you import are never going to overload your site and make for a fast user experience, which also helps with your SEO. Um, by the way, if you are using our WordPress plugin, you can drag and drop the ink file and it's even going to import the images into your media library, set alt text, image caption, everything, and import them in your WordPress article, all without having to do additional work. And if you wish to uh, modify the style of your image uh, in terms of the alignment or the size, you can also control that from here. So these are just a few of the things that Inc has to offer. We talked about AI, we talked about images and optimization. There's a lot for you to explore. In our next video, uh, we are going to talk about some of the distraction-free uh, writing experience, uh, the, uh, focused elements of the editor. 
I hope you take a look at those as well since they're really awesome. I hope you have a nice day and see you in the next video.